sometimes it takes a crazy son of a bitch to mix things up. I don't think Ted Cruz would have done any of this. I don't think Marco Rubio would have. I don't think anyone else would have done this. We're gonna talk about, obviously, North Korea, President Donald Trump. Question of the day, what's your opinion on the North Korea, the summit, the outcome? Are you hopeful for the first time with this crazy little bastard, or, or, or are you disappointed? Do you think that we're gonna, any good is going to come of this? Do you think President Trump did a good job? I, I really am curious, I would like to see, there seems to be a split on Twitter, it's hard to know. Comment below, here's what I will say. I, I hate to sound like one of those, just, you know I'm not a hardcore Trumper, okay? But, um, I do think that President Trump is making some concessions here because Kim Jong knows that if he doesn't get in gear, Trump's gonna, can, he will without a doubt drop the hammer. I can't picture a world in which he wouldn't drop the hammer on him. And we'll get into why I think that is. This is obviously the topic everyone's been talking about. It's amazing when I said those things, when I said those damn things, when I went back home, I got so many death threats. I got so many death threats when I was sitting there protecting everything. And I believe in North Korea. Everything. Why would you <laughs> why would you believe in North Korea? Yeah. Uh not super articulate, but he didn't have the, the best interviewer when in no. the DNC pool boy and chief Chris Cuomo. We actually have we, we're actually the only show we have exclusive access to his brain chip microphone. Yeah, we're very blessed. I couldn't even go home. I had to hide out for 30 days. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even go home. Mm -hmm. Okay, how much time's left here? Two minutes? It's three minutes. Okay, Chris, you can hold it for three minutes. Nope. Nope, can't do three minutes. Wait, what's he saying? Oh, wait, is, is he the one with the AIDS? Uh, oh, no. Poop. Definitely gonna poop. It is a great day. This is a historic day. I'm so happy. He's so happy! <laughs> I'm happy for you, Chris. I'm happy that you were able to actuate your fecal assimilation. Here's what I'm saying. On ego alone, let alone policy, if Kim Jong embarrasses President Trump by lying, because right now there's a lot of conjecture. We don't know what's out there exactly. Yeah. And we don't know yeah. what he's going to stick to, as we never do with Kim Jong. But can you imagine any world where Kim Jong embarrasses President Donald Trump on the national stage and doesn't get crap hammered? Look what he did with Canada, right? Look at what he did with Canada and the tariffs. And I'm not a fan necessarily of, of the, the, the tariffs. Yeah. Uh, but he did this because he got pissed. Look, look at his comments. No, I have a good relationship with Justin Trudeau. I really did. I, other than he had a news conference <laughs> that he had because he assumed I was in an airplane and I wasn't watching. <laughs> he learned that's going to cost a lot of money for the people of Canada. <laughs> yes. He learned. You can't do that. You can't do that. He really kind of stabbed us in the back. Good old grandma. He really actually, you know what? He did a great disservice to the whole G7. He betrayed... Trudeau them. did. Yes, he did. POTUS is not going to let a Canadian prime minister push him around, push him, POTUS, around President Trump. Well, that guy, that guy just, he seemed a little bit, he needlessly passionate about it. But I'm <laughs> yes. not a big fan of the tariffs, obviously, uh, but I'm not a big fan of the way Canada has been engaging necessarily in, in international trade. I'm not a big fan of Justin Trudeau, okay? But I do love how catty he is. And, and maybe next time, okay, maybe next time, you'll lift the toilet seat, okay? <laughs> maybe, 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 huh? How's the 35% tariff on steel? Maybe next time you'll lift it, I don't have to fall in at night. Um, I think it's an interesting contrast though here because everyone's upset now with yeah. President Trump complimenting Kim Jong-un. And by the way, for good, I don't think Kim Jong-un is worthy of any compliments. So let's be fair here. I, I really wish that President Trump hadn't done this, but I do think the why is interesting. Well, he is very talented. Anybody that takes <laughs> over a situation like he did at 26 years of age and is able to run it and His run it tough. Died. What did you learn about him, sir? I learned he's a very talented man. I also learned that he loves his country very much. Kim Jong's he builds some great Legos, the most magnificent of Legos. Kim Jong doesn't believe it. Do you know what he's like? He's a talented man. Kim Jong's like, what? Can you, can you believe this? <laughs> what he said? Did someone else pay him without me there? <laughs> you tell him about my nine holes in one? <laughs> I don't think he buys it. I really wish that President Trump hadn't... He, he hasn't done anything impressive at all in his life. Kim Jong-un has done zero impressive his entire life. But, like you said, Naki Jared, why is he complimenting him? Because I do think with a crazy person like that who's surrounded by sycophants, you kind of need to make him think that he's won. Contrast that with President Obama, who, who tried to talk semi-tough and accomplished absolutely zero. On the other hand, when North Korea tests a bomb, that endangers all of us. And any country that breaks this basic bargain must face consequences. Not impressed. 
And those nations with these weapons, like the United States, have a unique responsibility to pursue the path of reducing our stockpiles. Why? And Why? reaffirming basic norms like the commitment to never test them again. No. The United States and South Korea yeah, stand perfect. shoulder to shoulder, well, practice. both in the face of Pyongyang's provocations and in our refusal to accept a nuclear Korea, uh, North Korea. I, I, uh, I, threats will get North Korea nothing. <laughs> Uh, other than greater isolation. How are you uh, going to greater isolate and entirely isolate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like and, he sent the Bueller guy there to threaten somebody. <laughs> I don't under, I don't understand this. It's like we we have we we have been at peace for decades and no one has attacked us when you look at our nuclear arsenal. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. <laughs> well, I don't understand it. Why would we reduce our stockpile? Yeah, it's never going to happen. Why do you get to keep them? Because we're the good guys. That's true. Because we're not starving our own people. Yeah. So not, yeah. In, in this situation, I, you know, there's a lot of a lot of people on the left are coming back and saying that he's he's giving concessions, he's doing stuff, he's stupid for doing this. There's no agreement. We need a relationship there, not a relationship of a friendship. We need somebody who's willing to come to the table, and Trump accomplished that when no other president has done it. Right, none. So if you want to bad mouth, oh, we didn't get a, we didn't get and the results. It's, it's kind of like kind of like a first date. Like I don't think I'm, it's gonna be very productive on the first date. Yeah, exactly. You listed out everyone's flaw, the, the, all the flaws you yeah. see in the person. Like, and, and and first of all, I think you should we don't. The civil rights issues are important. I think we should get to that eventually in North Korea, but that's not the, the most important issue when it comes to our national security. No, right? It, no, I understand that you're not going to you're not going to fix that with this. this not in the first thing. meeting. But you're, you're, let's give you a quick quick timeline, okay? North Korea, they've never gotten it right. U.S. policy has never worked. 1994, Bill Clinton, North Korea signed an agreement. No, okay, they d didn't do it. Uh, Bush administration, 2002, no, 2003, they reactivated. Uh, then we go to 2007, there was uh, talks to resume in North Korea. They, uh, I, I think we have it. Re 2012, <laughs> weeks after Kim reaches a deal to suspend its nuclear weapons Same program, story, right? they launch launch a long range rocket. So here's the thing with President Trump: is he a narcissist? Of course. Um, all the criticisms about his personality are true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But on policy, he tends to keep his promises. Yeah. He lowered taxes. He pulled out of the Iran deal. Great precedent set here. The Paris Climate Agreement. He moved the embassy to Jerusalem. We got Gorsuch as a, a, as a judge. Regulations are being slashed versus President Obama, who did not close Gitmo. He did not manage to lower premiums with health care for families. He failed to allow imports of cheaper foreign pharmaceuticals. He didn't end in the income tax for seniors making less than $50,000 a year. And he also failed to end the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. His foreign policy was absolutely abysmal. The point that I'm making here is that any kind of deal which occurred under President Obama wasn't worth the paper it was printed on. As a matter of fact, the risk of any deal with a crazy tyrant surrounded by sycophants, like, it, it, they only speak one language, someone like Kim Jong-un. That's the language of action. And based on the track record, if even for the very same valid reasons people criticize Donald Trump, this is, I'm not, I'm not saying that this is, this is a, the best deal we could get. I'm saying, I'm looking at this a little optimistically, there's a lot, this is entirely opinion. For the same reasons people criticize Trump, that he's trigger happy, that he punishes people based on ego, Kim Jong-un is singing a different tune because of that. Yep. The language that he speaks is ego and humiliation. And I think President Trump right now is giving him something to lose by complimenting him, saying he's talented, and guess what? He can take that all away. That would sting Kim Jong-un a whole lot more than a war that I think he wants anyway. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not saying that this is all good news. I am saying sometimes crazy people can spot other crazy people, and then it just comes down to who can out crazy the other person first. You take this right out of the blueprint, uh, blueprint of Reagan dealing with Russia, right? You had to show strength to make sure that these guys were going to come to the table and actually be good faith actors, right? right? Hopefully that's what this leads to with him. He's had to see somebody on the other side that was willing to kick his butt. Well, and and this is the first person yes. willing to kick his butt. And a big difference between, oh, we're thinking about disarming ourselves. Trump first got prisoners released. Trump yeah. then also got them to stop testing. Then he was going to walk away from the meeting. Remember? And people yeah, were he pulled about out. that. People yeah. were like, I can't believe right. we do this. This is, so, this is just such a terrible mistake. And then he came back to the table. They came back to the table. <laughs> also, by the way, Trump's gotten China involved this time around. They're the ones who could put some real economic pressure on North Korea. That's a big deal. So he approached the table very differently. I'm not the kind of person saying he's playing, he's throwing seven different kinds of smoke. He's playing 18D chess. No, no. But in this case, in this he is taking a different approach and he's a very different, the kind of personality that makes other crazy people nervous. Kim Jong doesn't want to be on the, on the negative side of it. It doesn't want to be yeah. on Trump's no. bad side. That's the thing. So you praise him a little bit like, oh man, I saw what he did with Ted Cruz. He, you see what he, he told, he told the whole world Ted Cruz's dad assassinate JFK. <laughs> I don't want that kind of heat. <laughs> I'm going to play ball. He's back for better plays. plays. Yeah, well, we're going to say, Sven, you, don't, you have a different opinion. Well, yeah, I have a very different opinion. I think nothing is going to happen here, beep, beep. I think this is just another agreement where North Korea is just signing off on a paper that means nothing to them, and then they will break it, and then instead, Trump will do nothing, 
because Ivanka will storm into the White House and say, Dad, please don't hurt them. Beep, beep. <laughs> and then John Bolton will also rush in and say, nuke them. And then Trump will just not do anything. Okay, she says stall. don't touch him. He says nuke him. How about I just go and take advantage of him and break it off? Is that a fair middle ground? <laughs> I, here's the thing. I wouldn't put it past Donald Trump to actually try to kill Kim Jong. I, w I really wouldn't. Maybe. Look, look, look at, he does play, look at, look at around, look at Gorsuch, look at the tax cuts, the tariffs. That's a huge deal. Some, I, I hate to say this, and this is one thing with President Donald Trump. I, I am willing to admit that we were wrong uh, when it comes to the election in a, lot, in a lot of ways. Sometimes it takes a crazy son of a bitch to mix things up. I don't think Ted Cruz would have done any of this. I don't think Marco Rubio would have. I don't think anyone else would have done this. Sometimes it takes a guy to out crazy the other crazy guy. Churchill, one of the greatest leaders ever. By the way, he was a drunk and people thought he was crazy. Sometimes you need crazy people to do crazy things. He's a crazy mother sometimes, but he's ours. Let me give you an example. This is kind of what Donald Trump is, okay? I had a friend who was a cop, all right? Told me this story. He was apprehending some gang members, uh -huh. okay? They'd been dealing uh, drugs. Yeah. He was apprehending some gang members, so they, they, you know, they'd scattered. So, uh, one of them, this is true, all right? You have a bar fight, you're apprehending gang, one of them crapped himself covered himself in his own crap, took a bunch of PCP, and said, all right, who wants to get, and was running around at the cops, okay? <laughs> and my friend was the one who had to grab him and tackle him to the ground. And here's the thing, that guy got caught, but some other guys got away. And sometimes we need a president, when everyone's out there fighting and running people through the bar and breaking pool cues, you need President Donald Trump going, all right, who wants some of this, Kim Jong? No, 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 no. He needs sometimes a crazy son of a bitch when you've been dealing with crazy sons of bitches across the ocean this entire time and what we've done hasn't worked at all. I don't, I'm, I'm a little hopeful, if only because it's a different tact. And I think the main criticisms lobbed against Trump could play in his favor here. You let me know. Usually this is the point where I would tell you to subscribe or hit the notification bell up there because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot on YouTube. But if you haven't signed up now at lotterwithcreditor.com slash mug club for all the daily content to support us, there's probably, there's not a pitch I can make here that'll work. So let me just tell you this. I have a cat in my basement right now. If you don't subscribe at lotterwithcreditor.com slash mug club to support this content, I am going to kill him. If you don't subscribe, this cat in my basement will die.